Unlike many people today, I am an optimist. This strange condition began when I was 15 years old. That was 1996. I discovered that the future of human knowledge is on the World Wide Web, and all my textbooks were out of date. So I told my teachers, I want to quit school and begin my education on the World Wide Web. Surprisingly, all my teachers agreed with me. A year later, I founded a web startup of many, and I get to join this fabulous internet community that runs with this crazy idea, a anarchistic, open, multi-stakeholder political system that still defines the internet today. I'm Audrey Tang, and today, as Taiwan's first digital minister. I'm putting into practice the ideals that I learned when I was 15 years old. And that's rough consensus, that's civic participation and radical transparency. Surprisingly, it's working and it's transforming our society. Two and a half years ago, our president, Dr. Tsai Ing-wen, said a inspiring statement in her inauguration speech. She said, before, democracy was a clash between two opposing values. But now, democracy must become a conversation between many diverse values. You may think that a minister is a arbiter to judge between different sides, to judge a set of conflicting values. But as a facilitating minister, I'm asking a different question. I'm asking, given our different positions, can we find some common values? And given the common values, can we find solutions that works for everyone? And indeed, in the past couple of years, what you have seen here, a double robot, has been my main way to combat climate change. Now seriously, the jet travel, the jet lags, and airborne travels to the day lets us only participate in our local, domestic, or at most regional events, but pretty much daily I participate in the likes of the UN Internet Governance Forum in all the different continents and indeed now in Taiwan it is 11 p.m. it's midnight and so using this double robotic form I was able to mentor to coach a team of civic hackers in Madrid for a week and then flying in, finally, in the carbon-based, in the flesh life form to continue for another week. And they see me as the same person, just reincarnated in a different way. And so I think this way of telepresence, when I talked with Shu Li and Paul Preciado in the Taiwan um, Museum of Contemporary Art, I said, that the work that I'm doing is really a poetician's work. That is to say, my main work working in politics is just to read and write and perform poems. And so I would like to read you my job description. It's a very short job description, and it's also a poem and also a prayer. And it shows the relationship of the traditional way of a more zero-sum way of looking at technologies versus the new way, the more democratic way of looking at technologies. And the poem goes like this. When we see the Internet of Things, let's make it a Internet of Beings. 
when we see virtual reality. Let's make it a shared reality. When we see machine learning, let's make it collaborative learning. When we see user experience, let's make it about human experience. And whenever anyone tells us that the singularity is near, let us always remember the plurality is here. And so have a really good local time, as we say around here, uh, and enjoy the rest of the program. And thank you for allowing me to appear before you in this digital incarnation. And I look forward to meet you in some time in a carbon reincarnation. Thank you. <laughs>